Printify tutorial for beginners. Complete setup plus tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can get started with Printify and start selling your own designs without having to worry about printing, sending out your designs to customers, and the hassle of warehousing. So let's get started. Now, the first step you're going to do is create your Printify account. But before we do that, we need to understand what exactly Printify is. So Printify is specifically a print-on-demand platform. Print-on-demand platforms allow you to sell your items as well as create your own designs. They have a custom catalog available from where you can actually design your items. Once you design your items with some of the pre-existing catalog, so they have, you know, a bunch of different t-shirts, tote bags, and all that, and you can just print in your designs on top of them, you can start selling them on your own website, or you can also just, you know, order it for yourself, or even just sell it on Printify itself. And once a customer places an order, the item would then be printed and then sent out to the customer and you would be given the profit after cutting the basic costs of manufacturing. So it really depends on your personal brand where you want to price your items. You can really price them as high or as low as you would want. Plus the pricing on Printify is also pretty nice. If you take a look, it starts at $0 where you can set up upwards of five accounts and have unlimited product designs. Plus you get a 20% discount if you go for their premium platform for $24 per month, as well as a enterprise version is available for larger businesses. So let's get started by clicking on sign up on the top right. Once you click on sign up, you are going to be led to a sign up page where you're going to create your account. So you create your account on Printify. All you're going to do is first enter your email address and then enter a suitable password for your account. Click on sign up on the bottom. Once you do that, you will be led to your next page, which is your completion page. So over here, you're just going to answer some basic questions. So let's say we're new to selling. I'm an artist or I'm just exploring just like that. And just like that, our store on Printify has been created. Now, once your store has been created, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on manage my store and then you can click on these um, more details where you can just click on the settings. And once you click on settings, you're going to change your store name and I will change that into Lily Designs. And then I'll click on save. Once I've clicked on save, I can proceed with any connection to any other third party platform like Walmart or anywhere that I'm selling my product. So to do that, all you have to do is go into your store setup checklist, or you can even go into store settings and you can click on Printify Connect. And you can also, you know, connect to other platforms. But the easier way to just do this is to go into your uh, dashboard and under your dashboard, you're going to click on connect to Etsy slash Shopify. And over here, it will display the different types of platforms you can connect to. You can connect to Etsy, Shopify, TikTok US. You also have Printify pop-ups, eBay, Squarespace, Wix, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, Rest to shop, Walmart, and more. And you can build an API connection if your website is running on a different on a different platform than these ones. But we're going to proceed into actually creating products on Printify, how to do that, how to price them, and much more. So if you want to connect your store, simply go into the connect store option, and then you can connect and follow the steps that are given to you. Now to start with our product creation, we're going to go into catalog over here. Once you go into catalog, you can just open up the catalog home. And once you open up your catalog home, you'll be led to the Printify catalog. So you can open up the entire catalog over here to see all the different types of products that Printify offers. This includes t-shirts, drinkware, baby clothing, and coffee. You have a bunch of different items available to you, and you can choose different materials of the same as well. So you have t-shirts with different types of materials available and you can pick out the one that fits your branding the best. You can also discover items based upon the type of printing, such as all over printing that is available for certain products. 
So let's say I want to design a t-shirt and I can go ahead and open up the t-shirt section. And even within t-shirts, you will see there is a lot of variability for t-shirts. They are available at different price points as well. So you will see with Express, some of these have Express deliveries. Some of these are featured. You will also see the number of sizes, colors, and print providers that each one of these items has. There is also things such as customization, shipping, discounts, brands, uh, decoration method. So let's say I want to do a direct to garment print or a dye sublimination. I can choose the specific type of print I'm looking on. I also have the print area. So let's say I want to build an all over print and it will now show me only the designs where I can do a all over print. So from here, I'm going to choose the one that I like the best. So I'm going to go with the cropped T. And once I do that, I can proceed with my design. You will see all the local US providers if you click on start designing. Once you click on start designing, you will see your seam colors and I'm going to select white stitching. And then over here, I can go on ahead and upload my design on the left. I'll click on upload and upload it from my device over here. Let's say it is this logo that I want to print. And over here, I want to maybe duplicate this design. So let's create a pattern over here and I'll just move this like so, so it looks pretty nice. Just like that, I've created an all over pattern for my logo on my product. Once I've done that, I can add more design elements by going into the AI image generator from the left to get help from AI to further my designs. We can also add some text or go into our library to see any of our recently used images. We also have different graphics that we can add into our designs as well as any pre-existing templates. Now, once you've done that, you will be able to see on the top you have positions. You also have the alignment. You can set it towards the center as well. You can also flip your items. So if you want, you can flip as well. If I want, I can maybe decrease the size of this to make this all over print more, you know, detailed. And just like that, once we have customized this, we can click on select variant. And let's say I only want to have two variants and I only want this in white stitching and I want the small, medium and large. I don't want to do the rest of the sizes and click on save. And just like that, our first product has been created. Now you can design as many products as you want. And once you have designed your product, you can go ahead and click into my product on the left and you will see the product as it is created. You will see this is our crop tea. You might wonder, hey, it doesn't have um, the all over print, but it does actually have the all over print. I left it out on the other sections. But you will see that it also has a mock-up image that is generated for you. So you can use that image as well. And once we've done that, we can also further edit this and go on ahead and customize the design by clicking on edit design, even after we have saved it once. So I can add it in the front side, left side, all areas like this as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you're able to get started with Printify. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.